Hey everyone, Frank the Lunatic here, back with another rant for you. That's right, you. Oh, what? 18 of my wonderful fans. Thank you, though. Thank you so much. It's not like Hyper Armadillo's 208, but maybe by the time I'm 100, I might actually get up to 50 viewers. Who knows? But anyhow, it's right around the corner. Anyhow, I'm here to rant today, sort of a continuation of a rant that I did, um several months back uh some of you may be aware that i've been going to planet fitness i put it on hold a little bit for the winter started going back again and i did a rant uh about half a year ago maybe about millennials at the gym i mean they might not all be millennials but i categorize them like that and now that i've gone back it's nice to see nothing has changed Here's what I'm getting at, people. I, I don't under, I don't understand these guys. You know, you got Kanye man coming in, and they get sweaty as all fucking hell, working up. You know, stink, just stink type of thing. And I I don't get these guys. You know, you come to the gym, you go back to uh, the lockers, and you have a locker there just to keep like your keys or maybe something, and and you basically, you know, maybe put your shirt on over the sweaty ass shirt that you have on right now and you go you leave you get into your car all nice and friggin sweaty and you leave it's like really your car must friggin reek i'm telling you it's gotta reek i don't know maybe because i'm old school maybe that's what it is i have absolutely no problem getting showered after after i'm done at the gym like, you would think that was just normal. You know, if these guys are working, they come home from work and they get showered. You know, I, I don't understand. You go to the gym and you just get disgustingly stinky. And you just leave like that. It just, I don't know. And you know what? I have I have no shame anymore. I will admit that. I really could care less because that's just how I am right now in life. I mean, nothing beats when, you know... You're getting undressed. You're gonna go to the shower. You're gonna you're getting undressed or something, or you just got done the shower and you you come out, got a towel on, you go over to the locker and take the towel off so you can go get you know get redressed and everything. And you get some of these millennials that come in and they're just like, you know, they just like some of them stop and turn and go the other way and leave the locker room or shit like that. It, it's it's like oh my god, it's like really? Did you were you absent that day for sex ed? Um, hi. Um, you have a penis too. That's the way I look at it. I don't understand it. Mine might be a little older. And yes, mine might be in better shape than yours is. You know, might be bigger and better. There you go. That's pride. <laughs> than the little pencil dick that you've got. But I, I don't understand the whole embar embarrassing thing. It's like, dude, um, we're freaking guys. Like, hello, hi, uh you've never seen a penis before or something like you've never watched apparently you've never watched a porn before or, or something like that like i i don't understand the whole shock there that some of them just get like just oh my god like really you know some like there's some guys that will have a look on their face like oh my god how dare you take your towel off and put underwear on you know you should just go home you know like I don't get it. I, I don't, you know what, if any of you are from that generation, if any of my subscribers are from that generation, please comment below. Let me, I, I'm really curious what the whole thing is, you know, like, why is there so, I don't understand the whole shame thing. Um, okay, um, you know what, I, I don't know, maybe it's a, just a homophobic fear, I don't know, maybe you're afraid that if uh, you're getting undressed, I'm going to check you out or something. Dude, I'm not checking you out. You know why? Because I saw you within the first five seconds, and you ain't got nothing to be proud of. So, hey, I ain't looking at you. <laughs> that's the way. That's the way I freaking look at it. But uh, seriously, I, I don't. I don't get it. I, I. I don't. I just don't understand it at all. Um, don't understand it at all. Like, or or some of these guys get very secretively rushed. Like, you know, they do get changed real quick and you know it's not that they get showered but maybe they get changed real quick and like all of a sudden like you'll see them there'd be you know like just say a couple lockers over from you and you know 
one, two, three, like a scared kid. It's, you know, drop the shorts, put the pants back on real quick. Okay, so you have underwear on what? Um, you've never seen someone else in underwear before? Like, I, I don't understand. Like, am I supposed to be shocked that you're getting changed? No. I could care less. I really could care less. Get, you know, whatever. I don't care. Doesn't matter to me. And it shouldn't matter to you either. <laughs> it really shouldn't. You know, these guys that just get, like, upset and everything. Like, they get girly or something. All for it. It's like, hoo-hoo. Oh, my God. I saw someone in there, another guy in their underwear. Oh, my God. But the price, you know where it also comes from, too? A lot of things have changed. Like, when I went to school, for example, you know, in high school, you got changed for gym. I, my, my understanding now is, A, first of all, that doesn't even happen. You know, I mean, I don't know if apparently you just go to gym with jeans on and shit like that, or I, I'm not, I'm not really sure how that works. I mean, I I, I actually got to ask Kuiper Armadillo that one. Like, do you just go to gym and you're with your uh, district uniform shirt on and you know whatever pants, whatever it is that you wear? Is that what you go to gym with or something? I I don't get it. Like, because like I said, my understanding is you don't get changed for gym anymore, and you sure as hell. Don't take a shower, which amazes me. I remember freshman year high school, you know, first period was gym. Well, guess what? You didn't want to be a friggin' stinkaholic all damn day. Like, I don't know if that's, like, what goes on now. Like, like I don't know. Maybe you overdouse yourself with friggin', I don't know, cologne and deodorant and, every, and everything. Like, I, I couldn't even imagine staying all day just stinking up, but... Anyhow, that's that. I think that's the whole thing. This whole political correctness and all this other stuff. You're supposed to be, I guess, upset and you know, like it's in bad taste or anything. It's like it's a fucking locker room for Christ's sakes. You know, they, they, these guys that like I don't know, they're scared because it's open. It's like okay, you know. And again, like, did you miss that day in sex ed or, you know, biology or something like that? Like, I don't know. Maybe you did miss that day. Maybe, you know, like, you think you are the only person in the world that has a friggin' penis. Maybe. I don't know. I'm, maybe it's just my generation. I mean, as far as I know, my generation, we don't, you don't really care too much type of thing. It's like, oh, well, okay, you get changed. You know, even if you don't take a shower, you know, type of thing, it's like, change your freaking clothes. Oh, my God. How can I, I wouldn't even want to sit in their damn cars. I really wouldn't want to sit in their cars because it's got to be like a stink like you wouldn't freaking believe. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Maybe, I mean, I don't know. Maybe they've got penis envy. Maybe they are so afraid that they just have this little uh, stubby nub or something like that. You know, <laughs> maybe that's what it is. Maybe they're just embarrassed because God did not bless them down below. Could be. Who knows? But does again, does it really matter? Like I said, dude, you got the same goddamn piece of equipment I have. It's just yours is just microscopic. There you go. I said it type of thing. Um, but anyhow. People, really, seriously. So let's stop being politically freaking correct. Like this whole getting insulted at a gym or, you know, same thing with, you know, with schools and everything. You're going to insult somebody and things like that. You know, you like, I don't, I don't get it anymore. I don't understand it anymore. And I hate to say it, but it's just that whole spectrum with that, with that generation. Um, many of which I hate to say are Democrats, but that's besides the point. Different rant right there that just have this thing about it. I, I don't understand. What what I would really love to do, I would love to ask any of them. Dude, you ever watch a porn at all? Like, I'm curious. I, I, I would like to see you watch a porn, like, because do you, like, do this, you know, like, when the guy's on camera, oh, my God, he's naked, you know, <laughs> type of thing. I, I don't know. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe you put your hands up and you block him and you just see her. Maybe that's what it is. I, I, only thing I can think of. Beats the hell out of me. But you know what? I don't care less. I ain't embarrassed. I don't care. I ain't, I'm not embarrassed. I'll tell people straight out. That's right. I get freaking showered. I go drop the goddamn towel and get dressed. Because you know what? I'm proud of what God gave me. All right? I don't really care. 
You know, if you're upset by it, hey, whatever. You know, doesn't bother me one, one bit. I'm not going to change how I am because this generation are a bunch of freaking pansy asses type of thing. Which, which this whole thing actually would lead into another total rant, which I probably will do, about how these pansy asses have even gotten when it when it comes to clothing and that too. But that's another rant in its own that I might wind up doing. Anyway, see, I wish I had a, a better closing line. My nephew, Hyper Armadillo, has got a much better closing line than I do, unfortunately. Um, I mean, I, I don't like my closing line anymore. It sounded good at one time, but it's the only thing I can think of right now. So if you have a better closing line, yeah, comment. And better yet, when you go to, after you comment, now there's a little box of your first time viewer there. There's a little box that says useful little box. I'm going to get perverted now. Click it. Click it. Click it. Click it. Subscribe. Really. I'm not that bad. <laughs> really not that bad. And tell your friends too. Tell your friends there's some old dude on YouTube just making an ass of himself that you've got to see it. There you go. So click and subscribe. Tell your friends. I need subscribers. Any suggestions you might have too for any other future rants or anything like that that you want to see. Even if it's something that you want me to uh, rant about on a review or something. Comment below. You don't tell me. Then I'm just going to keep doing my thing. And it might not be shit that you're even freaking interested in. So tell me what you want to see on here from me. Anyway. Now for the stupid tagline, that, my friends, is all I've got to say about that.